Make money selling used coffee mugs? Yes. When I first heard that people could sell used coffee mugs and make a really good profit, I was a bit skeptical myself. I drink coffee, but I never really thought about having a coffee mug addiction, but apparently there are people out there who love their coffee mugs, who collect coffee mugs, and also like to buy coffee mugs as gifts. And this is one area that I'm going to share with you different strategies for finding coffee mugs. I'm going to show you exactly how I look up the different ones that I'm on the lookout for and different categories and price points for these. So I'll be sharing some that are over $20 that generally sell for over $20, some that sell for over $50, and even some that yes, sell for over $100. So you definitely wanna have these on your radar. If you think about it, it makes sense. People bond over a cup of coffee or a tea, just like these lovely people, whoa, get a room. Okay, moving on. The things I am not going to show you in this video because I want you to really be able to focus on one mug. There are lots of different mugs that are, have sold on eBay, but they're in lots. So when researching coffee mugs that sell for a really good price, I try not to look at ones that are a lot of mugs. One, it's harder to ship personally. There's money there, but we're going to focus on just individual mugs. And I'm also not going to be showing you mugs that the price has been crossed out because a best offer has been accepted. There are ways to figure out what the best offer was that was accepted, but I thought, you know, if you're going to be able to go do this easily and quickly, then it's best if we focus on the kinds of mugs that you would find individually and that you can see what they actually sold for. So to start, I just typed in mug in the eBay search, and then over on the left bar, I went down and selected used, I selected coffee mug at some points, and then I also selected the different price points that I was looking at. And I also like to select buy it now versus auction because I generally sell things buy it now, which means the buyer will buy it at the price that I have it at, or they can send me a best offer. All right, so let's uh, flatten out our dollars here because y'all can get mugs for pretty cheap. Usually at garage sales, thrift stores, and estate sales, you can get them pretty cheap. Now, granted, some thrift stores have gotten a little out of control with their mug prices, but you can still find really good mugs that sell for a really good profit. Even if the thrift store is selling their mugs for $3, if this mug sells for 20, 50, $100, I'll pay $3 for that mug. First up, let's take a look at some mugs that sell for over $20. So these will be mugs that fall between that $20 and $50 price point. I tried to look for mugs that I saw a repetitive pattern of this brand or this style or type of mug selling at that price point. So it wasn't just a random one mug that sold for $20 or more. It's consistent with the brand. I was also curious when I did this video if some of the brands that I used to look for were still profitable, and I was surprised to find out that some were and some were not. Starting off with our over $20 mugs is a brand called Deenan, and if I'm mispronouncing that, y'all let me know in the chat. So Deenan is a coffee mug brand that looks like a pottery type handcrafted mug, and as you can see, there are lots of different varieties of this mug. It looks like they partner with different parks, different organizations, and create mugs for their brands. So if you see Deenan, and if you flip it over on the bottom, it looks something like this. Deenan Pottery and Deenan Pottery. The next mug that we're going to focus on that can sell for 20, between 20 and 50 dollars is a full one that is Starbucks. So I know that Starbucks can be hit or miss, but because there are Starbucks mugs that can sell pretty much at any price point, it it is worth looking up because there are some Starbucks mugs that sell for $30 to $50 consistently. There are some that sell for over $50, some that sell for over $100. But you have to know which ones to look for. And if you're like me and you can't remember every single Starbucks mug ever made, like who can, then it might be be worth just taking a moment to look it up in your eBay app. So as you can see, Dubai sold for $35, Animal Kingdom from Disney sold for $28. Here's one from Sydney, 
that sold for about 50 and this one <laughs> sold for 52.99 technically this one could have gone in my 50 dollars or more but i thought oh, i'm gonna go ahead and stick it here with these other starbucks mugs next up is disney now disney is another one similar to starbucks where there are mugs that sell for very little and there are some that mugs that sell for an exorbitant amount and if it's a Disney Starbucks collab, then you've got a double whammy there. So like the Disney Haunted Mansion Starbucks mug. And there's one I think it's called Endor. It's one of the Star Wars ones that's a that's a Starbucks mug also that is worth a lot of money. But again, it's worth looking up, especially if you're finding Disney mugs of characters that are not as popular. Now, Alice in Wonderland is pretty popular. My mom is an Alice in Wonderland collector, so I see it a lot of it and this one sold for $29.99 here we've got Jasmine Jasmine's a really popular character so is Tiana from Princess and the Frog so whenever I see them I like to look them up and then this one is the poison apple this one sold for about $30 and then there's Jack Skellington Nightmare Before Christmas now there's a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff out there so it's still again worth looking up if I pass it up a Nightmare Before Christmas mug just because I think it's oversaturated and then it turns out that this mug actually sells for around $40, then I might be walking away from some money. This is another brand that I was so happy to see made the list because I love selling Farside. I love picking up Farside and I was wondering if Farside was going to make the list and it did. Farside is a cartoon comic and they're so witty and funny. So this far side uh why these far side mugs are selling for over twenty dollars we've got the santa mug we've got this one is the classic uh midvale school for the gifted sold for about 26 dollars and then i just grabbed a few more because it was pretty consistent that they were selling for over twenty dollars lots and lots of them 45 dollars and this is what it looks like on the bottom, says the far side. And I have some honorable mentions for you. These were some mugs that maybe didn't have a whole lot of consistent sellers, but they were, they were good enough, or I saw multiples of that specific one that I wanted to bring up for you in that price range. So here's Mackenzie Childs. You're gonna see this brand later because this brand also sells for a lot higher, but there are lower priced ones as well. Then here's a, a really cool Star Trek one. Anything that people like collecting, like Tommy Bahama, or maybe they are they like to go big, big fish fishing. What do you call that? Big game fishing? But there's another name for it. I can't think of it right now. And then Snowy Owls. Emma Bridgewater is another phenomenal brand. And actually this one is close to the $50 mark. And Emma Bridgewater, I don't think she made the list, but there were a number of Emma Bridgewaters kind of all over the different price points. So this is another brand to look for. And then there's this Hot Joe coffee mug from Javalier. it's a coffee brand. Ultimately, if you see a mug that looks like it could be something, it's worth taking a moment to look it up. Okay, let's jump into the mugs that sell for $50 or more. We're getting juicier, here we go. The first brand, here it is again, Mackenzie Childs. And this one has got a lot of different styles. However, frequently you'll see this white, you see how the checkerboard white and pink, a lot of times you'll see the black and white, whether it's uh, stripes or checkerboard, but it's worth looking up. This one doesn't actually have the checkerboard. This one sold for $65. And then here's another one. You can see that black and white checkerboard in there. This is not personally my style. So this is one of those moments where you're like, to each his own. I wouldn't pay $70 for this mug, but somebody apparently loves it. So Mackenzie Childs, fantastic. So here's another one that sold for $84. And then this really pretty one. This one doesn't fit the normal mold of Mackenzie Childs. This one's called Plum Flower Market. And this one sold for $85. Next up, I was also really pleased to see that Taylor and Ing made the list again because they're really easy to spot and they're a lot of fun to pick up. So this is a Taylor and, Taylor and Ing, the Poisson Chat, which is the fish and the cat. So this one sold for $54.99. Here is one with the naughty giraffes. Now, Taylor and Ing makes these mugs that are... They're like little orgies. They're like little animal orgies. I've had the bunny rabbit one. There's a dog one. Apparently there's a giraffe one, which I was not aware of, but the Janotti giraffes sold for $50. Uh, here's another one with the cat. And here's one with the primitive horse, dog, and man. And here's the naughty dogs. <laughs> 
There is an owl, and I didn't put it on here, but there's a, a whale one called Le Belin, um, which I've actually sold that one as well. Mugs are really fun to pick up and sell. They're easy to photograph. They're fairly easy to ship if you know how to do it. I've made videos on that as well. I'll, I'll plug them in here. Next up is another hot brand, which is Anthropology. So Anthropology partners with different artists. This one is Molly Hatch. This is a narwhal that sold for $64. And then here's a really cute one that they partnered with Leah Rena Gorin, if I said that right. And this one sold for $49.99. And here's another one, Rare Claire V Coffee Mug, sold for $57. And a few other, another Molly Hatch with a little corgi it looks like on it. And this really cute pumpkin one that sold for $70. Next up, this was a new one for me. This one was Ember, and this is a temperature controlled smart mug because I need my coffee to be smarter than me because in the morning, it takes a minute. So the coffee mug can take care of the brains while I'm getting fueled up. So this is a smart mug. This sold for $75. Here's a white one that sold for 90. And here's another one for 52 that's already out of the box. And this one says it's broken and it's still sold for $63. Now I did also see some that were, there was a like a pink one. There were a few other colors, but mostly they look like this, pretty nondescript and they come with a plug. I'm guessing if you find one without the plug, it looks like just a standard charger. So you could probably pick it up and get a charger for it. All right, honorable mentions. In this price point, we have got this Horn C bunny rabbit mug that sold for $60. So cute. And this is a Fire King. This one sold for $90. Very happy to see this mug uh, that's still selling for a lot because I've actually had and sold this mug before. It was a hard one to give up, I have to say. And then this is a really Roth, really cute owl Roth woman mug sold for $62. And then this Henri Bendel, who actually is going to show up again in a few minutes, sold for $95. And now we are on to the big juice, $100 or more mugs. Yes, they are out there. You can find them. Here we go. I decided not to show like the Gucci ones or the Tiffany or the Chanel because there are all of these really high-end fancy brand mugs that I have a feeling that if you saw this Chanel mug or a Tiffany mug that you'd probably pick it up, flip it over, maybe look it up, right? So I left those out because I felt like maybe it was a no-brainer. So here we go. First up is that Henri Bendel. There was a $95 one in the last batch, but there are a number of them that sell for $100 or more. This one, I know it's $99. Close enough, right? All right, so here's another one that sold for $110 with shipping. So somebody also paid $15.60 shipping on this mug. And then here's another one, just stripies. Just some stripies, $115. And then here's another one, Party Girls. That was the same one that sold, I believe, from before. Yeah, and it, this this time it sold for $124. This one was brand new. And then the next brand, over $100 that we're looking at. This one is actually not a specific brand, but I wanted to point out to you looking at pharmaceutical or promotional mugs. So these are all pharmaceuticals. And they were, say, mugs that they would have given out at a conference or to doctor's offices, things of that nature. So this is Oxycontin. I was kind of on the fence about this because I know there are rules about selling things that profit off the misery of others. And I don't know if that falls into this category, but Oxycontin, this mug did sell for $500 recently, August 31st. And then here's another one, Vyvanse. This is an ADHD medication. Ask me how I know. Uh, $130 on that mug. And then here's a Xanax mug that sold for $127. I saw multiple Xanax and Vyvanse mugs up there. And then this one is Haldo. I can't quite pronounce it. Whatever it is, it sold for $100. So keep an eye out for those pharmaceutical mugs. You never know. Then we have got Death Wish Coffee. This is another one by Deneen, which I shared at the beginning of the video. And the reason I wanted to go ahead and share this separately is because it says Death Wish on it. So it's a little different. So you'll see the skull and crossbones. This one is a Yeti Death Wish Coffee and it's sold for $149. And then here's another one, Skull and Crossbones Death Wish Coffee, $150. 
Here's another with the Cthulhu, and this one looks like a tankard, 125. And then this is another Death Wish that's a Star Wars diner type mug that sold for 110. Now we're looking at some more over $100 mugs, and these are Fire King. So I did add some Jadeite and some uh, white ones in here, like the Milk Glass. So this one, and when you see these, they'll have different brands or restaurant logos, or you'll see a Burger King one coming up that they're, they're not all specifically exactly the same. So it's worth looking at because again, some might not be as worth as much as others, but I mean, hello, cream donuts, $115. Then here's that Burger King that sold for 105. And then this is just a plain white, white C handle mug. And if you notice the handle, it's got that, it's like called a C handle. There's different types of handles on these mugs. So you see the Burger King one's not quite a C. Something to learn, it's always something to learn, right? And then here's a Fire King Three Ring Circus, Three Ring Coffee Circus Elephant. That's over 125. And let's talk honorable mentions in this category. This one, again, I didn't see any others like it, so I'm not exactly sure what the draw for this one was, but it sold for 225. Here is another one. This one, I almost put it in with the pharmaceuticals, but it was just another digital equipment corporation. Looks like a computer coffee mug. If it looks weird, it's got a strange company brand. It's worth looking up, right? Then this is Pioneer Woman, and I did look up other Pioneer Woman mugs. They weren't all as good as this, so I didn't plug Pioneer Woman into any of our categories, but this one did sell for $100, so I thought it was worth mentioning. And then this is a Carlton Wear Santa. He's got feet. So if you see a Santa mug with feet, this one sold for 150 bucks, you guys. I would love to hear any mugs that you've sold lately. I love selling mugs and I'm so excited to be getting back into it now that I'm revamping all my stores and I'm getting out there finding new inventory. I can't wait to find some of these mugs and I am hoping that you are on the hunt for them too. And I will talk to you in the next video. Thank you so much for hanging out. Bye.